Hello. I'm in my cubby, as usual. Got my mummy in the background and my grandma. Can't really see them, but they're there. A few other people are hanging around. There's Sean, I think he's about age seven in that picture. So anyway, just wanted to catch up. I wanted to tell you that I actually took an excursion into my garden yesterday because I thought, I haven't heard these foxes in a while. They're a bit quiet. I wonder if they've moved on. So I took the excursion, went into the garden and it's so overgrown. It's a jungle. The growth is like shoulder height. So anyway, went into the garden and the foxes stroke hyenas are sitting on top of the fence, all cuddled up together, all cosy. So I come, they come down as if to introduce themselves to me. Now, Zoe, you're the one that said, go and show them who's boss. Once you go into the garden, they'll run away. I tell you, not these ones, not these big, well-fed hyenas as they start to walk towards me as if to say excuse me love where are you going this is my house no one invited you so after a few sneezes I backed out now the garden is well overgrown and I am dying for some outside space I've sat in my neighbor's garden because she's flattening it all and there's nothing in there there's no trees no shrubs, no nothing, no grass. She's flattening it all and re redesigning her garden. So I've sat in there a few times, but it's not my garden, is it? I tried. I even spoke to my downstairs neighbour. I said to her, if I cut your trees, do you want your branches back? And she said, what tree? What tree? The massive tree outside my window, I think I've shown it to you before, is in her garden. The second tree that also shades my window is in her garden. So there's the tree that she thought was my tree. It's in her garden. As you can see, the stump. There you go. Massive. How do you miss that? No idea. Tree number two, in the corner. Stump, her garden. Massive. How do you not know that that's in your garden? My garden, you cannot see it because it is right at the back through the trees. The third tree that I've been complaining to my council about for years and my neighbors was in their garden and that was masking my window completely and all sorts of things were flying in and out when you open your window in the summer there'd be bees wasps and all sorts of other things I couldn't describe coming through my window well eventually he cut it down so that's not a problem but she said what tree I was I was stunned 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 Stunned. So I thought, all right then. I said, you've got two trees left in your garden. And she said, I didn't know. I don't go out there. Her grass is like ankle height. I don't know how the grass doesn't grow in her garden, but it's ankle height. And she said, oh, I didn't know I had any trees. I said, oh gosh, okay. Do you want your branches back? No. She said, give me that look. I said, okay, all right then. So, I've just written to the council because the hyenas are not easily frightened off in this area. I don't know why they were coming towards me, but they all came towards me like the pack of hyenas in The Lion King. And I thought, Zoe said, go and show them who's boss and they'll go away. Well, no, Zoe, they don't. Anyway, the weather's changed. It's very, very windy. I was going to go and plant some flowers, but I couldn't in this kind of gale force wind because they wouldn't last a day. They'd be blown all over the cemetery. So that didn't happen today. 
So I just thought I'd do a quick check-in, let you know I'm still alive, I'm still sane, still holding on to my sanity. I finally got, as I you saw my posts, it finally said, well, I got a, a notification finally saying, we recognise that you are vulnerable and now you can get your food delivered. It's like two months later. I said, oh, really? Right. Two months later, I can get my food delivered. All right, then. Anyway, I'm chilling indoors and I just thought I'd catch up. Now I'm going to go and wash this barnet and see what I can do with it. Okay. Well, stay safe, friends. Stay safe, all of you. I miss you very much. Oh, what was I going to tell you? I can't remember. It came and it went just like that. But never mind. Oh, thank you to Bob Sinclair for the music. Happy birthday and sad to see you go. 55 days of music was brilliant. 55 days of outfits, brilliant. Well done. DJ Spoonie, thank you very much. And uh, Lewis Ben Mastermind on my soul, thank you very much. Commiserations as we've lost Betty Wright. And we've also lost little Richard. Too many losses. It's heart-wrenching. Anyway, take care, everyone. Stay home, stay safe, stay sanitised. And I'll speak to you soon.